Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Unlock the full potential of your Webflow website in 2023 by connecting your GoDaddy domain. This step-by-step -step guide will show you how to integrate your domain ensuring a professional online presence. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So, obviously guys, the first thing to do is to head up to godaddy.com. As you can see, this is the website, godaddy.com. So here is the homepage. Simply at here in this find your perfect domain, write the domain that you want to buy. So we're gonna start by buying a domain first. So for an example, I'm going to write Titan LTD and here it is the page. So here, as you can see, they will be giving you a bunch of options to choose from. So domain names can be ended by so many things as .com, .net, .io, .co, store, online, and much more variety of stuff that you can choose from. And each one can vary in the price and popularity. As an example, here, .store or online will cost me only 0 0.99 for the first year. Now, <clears throat> for example, if I went all the way down here, and I found this Titan Pay, for example, .co, look how much. It's $5,000 plus, this is only to buy this domain, plus you will be paying $40 per year. So yeah, there is so much money uh, that people are making through selling like their own uh, domain names. But anyway, this is not what we are going to talk about in this video. Now, for example, I like this site on ltd.online and I'm going to buy it. As you can see, it is for only 0 0.99 for the first year. After that, I will be short $50. The same thing goes for this big announcement, which is over here. People actually get attracted by it and they ended up losing money. Guys, this is not 0 0.01 for only one year for free and then you can cut it off. No, after the second year, you will be charged $40 and you can't cancel, you can't cancel the subscription since it is a two years term. So you will be charged after the first year with $40. Put that in mind, guys, before you actually buy anything. Now. As you can see, click here for example, and I'm going to add it to cart and then continue. And there we have it into the checkout page. So here first, let me just show you real quick how it works. Um, and it load, it's gonna take some time. Uh, we can refresh the page if it took too much, but anyway. Now, sometimes oh, for me, usually it opens for me as a five year subscription, which is not what we talked about. We talked about $0.99, not 100 So what you have to do simply is just head up here and fix this here, and it will be back to 0 0.99. Then here simply, you can either choose to pay with PayPal and then click here if you want to pay with a credit card. So here you just have to fill the information from billing information and then your payment method. And then click on complete purchase so it can be uh, completed. Now, as you can see, it has came up to 1.17. Why is that? Because once you fill the business or your payments uh, information, uh, you will be taxed uh, depending on where you live. So for me, I have been taxed with 0 0.80. And that's for that. Now, after you buy it, you will receive an email in your inbox with the receipt. So here it is. And here it is in front of you. Now, here it is, as you can see, uh, all the numbers, store the main registration, uh, the start domain registration, one domain, one year, and 1.17. Now, to connect it to anything, simply all you need to do is to click on this inside of your inbox. You will find this section which says link your domain to an existing site. Click on it, it's really quick and really easy, guys. And there you go, you are now in the dashboard of your website. Click on manage, which is gonna be here, and then you will be on the dashboard of the domain name itself. Now go all the way down and click on connect your domain. Connect my site. And now they will give you a bunch of options to choose from. So as an example, in this video, we need to connect it to Webflow or whatever it is. So simply, if you couldn't find it here, so here they already have given you a bunch of options. For example, there is Wix, WordPress, Squarespace, um, Within Wire, Timber, Eventbrite, and Medium. If you didn't find Webflow here, what you'll have to do is to go inside of your Webflow account. How to do so? Very easy. Go to Webflow and connect your account. So here we go. 
log in and just log in using your gmail account to make it very fast and easy so as you can see here and there we have it so here let me just close that and here they are my websites so for example let me go to the settings of this website and there we have everything from the name into more than that now here as you can see there is a bunch of options if we search for domain it will not be here so where can we actually add a domain name to our webflow account or website very easy guys it's very uh, obvious so guys once you try to publish your website they will give you that so let me just click here and show you publish and here you see there is add a custom domain click on it and there you have it so for that as you can see um, here it is the domain name that you have or right now but to add a custom domain as you can see here upgrade to a paid site plan to add or purchase custom domains so if you want to add a site plan click here and then you will be redirected to the plans so for a plan you have to either go for basic CMS or business all of them will allow you to go for a custom domain beside the starter which not which does not allow you unfortunately so in case you wanted to connect a custom domain you have to pay at least $14 per month which is gonna be built yearly if it was monthly it will be 18 and you will have then the option to add a custom domain on whatever you want GoDaddy, Nameship, whatever you have and yeah guys this is how you have to do that well after you actually add the, like everything in here you buy it etc well the steps doesn't end there you have to go to your uh, car not a car but to your uh, account so here are the domains I'm going to the settings or dashboard of my domain name and then here I'm going to this left side menu and click on domain here you'll find the manage uh, your domain names and then here the manage DNS so depending on what kind of uh, records they give you Webflow there is two kind of record it's either name servers so you can click let's click here and replace these server names with the Webflow server names so you just click here and put them in here and here or you just get the DNS records which is gonna be something like that um, let me just show you something similar for example it's gonna be a CNA name, C name name servers and connect and like it's gonna be like a domain name given to you by Webflow and an IP address which comes with AA4 so this is an A4 so for example if I clicked on it this is an IP address the value is going to be an IP address and the name is going to be an at so just fill them out and you will be able to connect your GoDaddy account or domain name with your Webflow website and yeah guys this is how you connect both of them thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial